What is the worst adult temper tantrum you have seen? I was driving down a street in Portland, following about 5 car lengths behind a small pickup truck. The driver of that pickup started slamming his brakes on, for no apparent reason. He kept doing it until he actually slammed them so hard, that he slid to a complete stop in the middle of traffic. I was forced to stop behind him, and was sitting there wondering if he had something wrong with his truck, when he got out in a fury and ran back to my truck red faced and screaming at me that I was tailgating him. I was completely baffled by this guy. I never tailgate people, and I was a generous 5 car lengths behind him on the road. He completely lost his mind and was screaming so high pitched and senseless that I could no longer understand anything that was coming out of his mouth. I really thought there was something mentally wrong with him, so I rolled my window down and said, take a deep breath man, you're going to have a heart attack. That just made him go more crazy. I've never heard a human voice make such crazy sounds. I wish I had a video camera. So after a minute or so. I just pulled over on a side street to try to make sense of everything and let traffic go. He stood right there in the street and screamed, then wailed his arms all over for 4 more minutes as cars went around him. As I was sitting there a car pulled over in front of me, and a guy got out, walked over to my car and said, did that guy slam the brakes on in front of you? I said, yeah, I have no idea what's wrong with him. The guy says, he's done it to me twice and I've called the police on him both times. I just called them right now. So both of us sat there until the police arrived, about 2 more minutes, with the guy screaming and throwing a temper tantrum the entire time. The cops had to tase the guy to get him to stop his tantrum. He got arrested and his truck got towed. It was a bizarre and terrible experience. One of the cops told me they had received over 50 calls on the guy, and they had arrested him 5 times already. Edit, the guy's license had already been revoked. He was driving anyway. It would have been nice if having a revoked license would have kept him from driving. TLER, a mentally unstable guy slammed his brakes on in the middle of traffic, and proceeded to throw a temper tantrum in the middle of the road, because I was following 5 car lengths behind him, and to him I was tailgating him. He ended up getting himself tased and arrested. I worked part time for a marketing company, promoting food brands many years ago. I made some simple dishes and served them in the store from a food cart. This family rushes in with 5 plus kids and plunders the samples. After stuffing themselves, the parents ask if it was pork meat in the food. All meat dishes being pork, I said yes. They threw a huge tantrum since they were not allowed to eat pork. I work in retail. I was working as a cashier that day, and you know the general format for a lot of express queues. Everyone gets in one line, and when a cashier is free a little light flashes and an electronic voice tells you which number to go to. That's how our only tills are set up. A lot of people try to come in through the exit side of the tills, sometimes just an honest mistake, and sometimes trying to skip the line. Had a guy come in when we had a decent lineup, and he went in through the wrong way and walked right up to my till. I gestured to the lineup of peoples, and asked him to go to the line, as the other people were there first. Note that I wasn't rude to him, I just asked him to go to the lineup. This man then decided to yell and scream the following points, there were 3 cashiers, we were a bit short staffed, surely one of us could ring him through. I was clearly lying about there being other customers lined up, even though he looked right at them. I was giving terrible customer service. He then began to demand to see a manager to complain about me. I paged one up and told him one would be with him in a minute. He literally waited about 5 seconds before screaming, I don't have time for this. Thanks for your manager's attention, you guys obviously don't care, and stormed out. Gotta love working in retail. I used to work at a grocery store. I once watched a lady go into a screaming swearing fit, because we wouldn't let her into the meat department to buy sausages, because that section had been blocked off by the fire department. There were 3 or 4 firefighters there, in plain view of the woman, in turnouts, tearing apart one of our refrigerator units because the motor had started smoldering. You could see and smell the smoke. Lady screamed at my supervisor for 5 minutes, before one of the firefighters came over and literally told the woman to duck off which absolutely made my day. 
Our store manager sent the fire station a giant gift basket afterwards. One I mostly saw the aftermath of, but I heard a lot of banging and yelling as I and several co-workers at a small company rushed to the front office to see what was going on. It turned out two women had gotten into a full throwing stuff at each other fight, including their chairs. All because one had started a diet and the other had a candy jar on her desk. The other one I saw when I was a kid, and it was a full bout of bad shit insane. After a girls softball tournament, one of the parents had a freak out while first and second place teams were lined up and receiving their trophies, my sister was on one of the teams. She ranted, screamed, yelled at the umpires, accused them of fixing the game, threw equipment around, threw dirt, stopped just short of assault, and the umpires and coaches mainly let her rant, even when she was screaming in their faces. Her daughter was standing there, holding her second place trophy, in tears. Finally this woman yelled at her daughter to come on, they were leaving. The daughter clearly wanted to stay, but the lady kept screaming, so the daughter stepped away from the team and walked toward her. The woman tore the trophy away from her daughter's hands and threw it on the ground, the two of them heading off into the parking lot. Stan comes into office, and notices Bill has muddy boots propped up on Stan's desk. Stan goes red in the face, leaps onto Bill's desk and proceeds to do what I can only describe as a reverdence. How do you like mud on your desk? Stan screams. I about shit myself laughing. I told a lady that I couldn't return her 45 pound bag of dog food that was probably 75% gone. She started screaming that the customer is always right, and continued to scream it until we had to ask her to leave. I watched a guy in Walmart flip his shit, at like 10pm, because some sections at the store were blocked off to be waxed overnight. He had his entire family, which included 4 young kids, and was freaking out at the self checkout lady over the section being blocked, and asking why they didn't do it later in the night even as she explained that it's a long process that takes literally all night. I used to work at Logan Airport during the whole liquid ban. I told some guy he couldn't bring his soda through security. He proceeds to go on a giant tirade against government interference, and that I was somehow personally responsible for taking all his freedoms away. He then proceeded to yell that he had a bomb. He was swiftly tackled. This is the only time I've had to walk away from a customer in order to keep my calm, and not get fired. I work at a certain video game retailer, and I had a lady try to trade in a PS3 that had pieces chipped off, a large crack in the case, smelled like a cat had used it as a litter box, and had both thumbsticks on the controller chewed through to the little plastic nubs. Well when I told her I had to put to refurb fee on the system since I couldn't sell it as is, she flipped out on me, cursing up a storm, and calling me a thief for 20 minutes before the manager had to get involved. I even tried to reason with her, through asking if she would be happy if I had sold her that particular system, and she screamed at me that no, she wouldn't, but that isn't her problem, and that she is going to get the full value out of her system. It was so bad her own daughter came up to me afterwards, and apologized for how her mother acted. Oh and the lady got her way eventually, by having the manager discount the PS4 she was purchasing by the amount of the fee. Edit, just wanted to spread a bit more light. The manager didn't intervene earlier because he was on a break, and he is a fantastic manager. It was one of those situations where the customer would have escalated to the district manager, and then would have gotten her way anyway, so the manager went ahead and put a discount on the transaction. He did however get back at her by throwing a few things in that she didn't really need, including a few things she absolutely couldn't return, and got nearly a $1000 sale out of her. Which still boggles my mind, that she spent that much and was pissed about losing $30. The worst was definitely from a man when I worked for an auto parts store. The parts often have lifetime warranties, and all we needed was some info, and we could replace it up to the day you junked the car or died, whichever came first. I asked the gentleman for some info, phone number and name, and he refused. I explained that without it, I couldn't give him his lifetime warranty, and he lost, his, shit. I mean. He turned this violet color, vein pulsing in his fat forehead, yelling and screaming at me. I can't even remember what he was saying, 
because I just stared incredulously at him as he ranted and raved like a madman, threatening me, thrusting his grubby finger in my face. I seriously thought he was going to reach over the counter and try to kill me, because he sure looked like he was going to. My manager came running up and tried to intervene, and he just kept on spewing his angry rant, and everyone else in the entire store had fallen silent. My manager kept saying, so, if you keep this up I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. But the customer wasn't listening and screamed over him. Eventually, after at least 5 minutes of this insanity, the other customers revolted against him. One man, a mechanic who was a regular, eventually stepped right up to the guy and said, I'm a mechanic and you're wasting my time because this young lady asked you for information. Get out of the store. You are costing me money by standing here. Get the duck out. The angry customer yelled back at him, saying he'd beat the shit out of him, and they could take it outside, etc. Another customer shouted at the aggressor, telling the guy to get out multiple times, until the man finally threw his items to the floor and left. As he was walking out, I began ringing out the mechanic who had yelled at him and asked if he had a rewards card, to which he replied, yes, and I will give you my phone number, as loud as he possibly could. TLDR, got yelled at and threatened by a shithead, lovely mechanics came to my rescue. At Oha boarding my flight, a lady handed her ticket to the gate agent and, was informed that she was at the wrong gate, as this flight was going to Dallas Fort Worth and she was going to Los Angeles International Airport. Now a sane person would assume that the person who works for the airline and just let 50 people on the plane with boarding passes that say they are going to Dallas Fort Worth would know where this plane is going, but this cunning traveler wasn't having it. They told me the flight to LAX is at this gate, you're lying to me. And then the gate agent offered to look up what gate her flight was at, but she just snapped back and asked the gate agent, are you sure? About 5 times, each one louder and angrier than the one before then ask the people right behind her in line, including me, are you sure this is not the flight to LAX? And then she stormed off, presumably to find what gate her flight was actually on, and run in that direction, but that's what a sane person would do, so who knows. Worked in a call center for a once major retail chain, we provided tech support to their main corporate office as well as the stores. It was a really big desk, I think at our peak when I was working there. We had around close to 70 or more agents, with 50 plus being active during our peak hours. So you saw a lot of interesting people and weird characters. Still, it was a very professional environment and no one really had any major freakouts surprisingly, except for one guy. Don't know his name, never learned it. His routine was, come in whenever he wanted to, sit down at a desk, sign into the phone, put himself in a not ready status pull out a drawing tablet, and sit there playing on it all day. He was a normal agent, like the rest of us, but he rarely if ever took calls. Rumor was that he was the nephew of someone really high up, and that's why this behavior was ignored. He was quiet and kept to himself, and him being paid to do nothing really didn't hurt us. One day though he stands up abruptly yelling, duck, at the top of his lungs. An entire call center suddenly goes dead, and all eyes go to him. He storms off to the break room with his tablet in hand. What followed was the sound of something being bashed against something else and the repeated shouts of profanity. That lasted for around 15 to 30 seconds, where he walked calmly out of the break room son tablet, quietly sat at his desk, and glared at his computer monitor. Didn't see him the next day, and never saw him again. I'm assuming he got moved into upper management, 